Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph this absolute value inequality. And the main important thing that I think before starting any absolute value inequality is identifying it, when you create your two solutions, are you gonna have a and or an or compound inequality? And whenever your absolute value um, symbol is greater than your um, uh, other value or expression, Therefore, then you know that this is going to be an or. When it's less than or less than or equal to, it will be an and compound inequality. So now I can create my uh, two cases. So I have x minus 11 is greater than or equal to 1. And x minus 11 is less than or equal to negative 1. I don't know where 11 came from. Negative 1. Remember, whenever we negate that side, we've got to make sure we flip the inequality symbol. So now we just go ahead and solve. So I add 11. Add 11, so I have x is greater than or equal to 12, excuse me. And here I add 11, add 11, and I have x is less than or equal to um, 10. So now what I need to do is go ahead and determine, and well, go ahead and graph, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's an or. I was thinking and for some reason. Um, it's an or compound inequality. So now I just want to graph this. And when I graph this, I want to make sure I include both my values. So let's start. Well, let's start 0 over here, and then I just have, let's go by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. All right, if you're creating your own, um, if you're own creating your own uh, line graph, you don't have to have 0 in the center, right? You can create your graph however you like to. The next thing is we need to go ahead and plot these two points, which I have 12 and I have 10. Now it's important for me to know, let's just work at one inequality at a time. This says x is greater than or equal to 12. So therefore, if I plug in 12, well, 12 is greater than or equal. Well, it's equal to. So therefore, 12 is a part of the solution. The next thing is I want to choose a test point. Um, or I can just you know, choose a test point, and let's just choose 14. Is 14 greater than or equal to 12? Yes, that's true. So therefore, I'm going to shade to the right. Now the next thing is you can see obviously this is a greater than or equal this is a less than or equal to which is just in the greater than or equal to so therefore this 10 is also going to be a part of the solution then I just choose another test point 8 is less than or equal to 10 that's true so therefore I shade to the right um, if let's say I chose 14 though again 14 is less than or equal to 10 well that is false right so for this inequality 14 is false that's why I would shade to the left in that case. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your absolute value inequality. Thanks.